Let's walk through how you would update your collection for OpenSea's new collection page. So as you would have done before, we will enter through this profile tab and go to Studio. And here you will see all collections that you own. Um, and note that this is not just collections that you've made through OpenSea. You should see everything that you own. And you will be able to update any collection page um, for any of these collections. So here we go into one of mine. And you'll be familiar with this setup, um, but we've added a new tab here called Page Editor. So we'll go there. Once you land on the editor, you can see that there's a bunch of components you can edit. So here I actually already have a logo image and a banner, but you will be able to edit your banner for desktop or mobile with a click from this view. You can also edit your description in line. So I might say, and then if you scroll down, you will see this new uh, get started button, which will open up all the modules that you can use to fill out your page. Notice also that this is uh, filling out this new overview tab um, that is right next to your items, analytics, and activity tabs that you might have been already used to from using OpenSea. So let's start with media and text. You can go in and we have some examples for you for the different versions that you can use, um, essentially how the image is laid out as well as where the text would go. Um, so text over background, text and media side by side, purely background or purely text. So I'm going to choose one of them. And here uh, you see the pencil icon. You can start to fill out essentially anything um, from here. So I might drop an image and say, title it. I'm And the fun part of it is that we actually have text position options here. So you know you can play around with where it fits. You can actually optimize your kind of background images to be on a certain side. So you can put the text uh, overlay on a particular side, but um, you can kind of see like the flexibility that we allow you here. So I'm gonna leave that. And then as you add modules, you'll click this um, plus button and you can go back to choosing your components. So now I will go to the carousel and these have a little bit more specific modules. So you have team members, featured items, featured collections, timeline, and freeform. The two to watch out for featured items and featured collections um, those are going to be able to feature any items or collections that you own, um, okay, you created, or if you are a collaborator um, for another collection, you also have uh, essentially rights access to feature them. So let's start with team. You can see um, the bubbles pop up. If you click the pencil, you can add as many team members as you want. And obviously for each member, you can add the name, title. So it can be chief artist. And pick you know whatever images that you want here. Um, and you can also add descriptions. and keep on going. Um, I'll delete the other one for now. Great. Playing around with some of the other modules here, featured items. Um, this will open up again, a view of all the collections and items that you actually own. And so if you click on one of the collections, you can filter it to that and you can add whatever um, items that you want to add. So these are, um, some of the test items 
I've created before in the past for other demos. And then if I click done, then you can see them um, pop up in this featured items. Note that you can, you know, rename this whatever you want. You can add the description here. It's quite flexible. And similarly, we'll add the featured collections. And, you know, you can feature essentially any of the collections that you own. Um, this, I think, is very um, powerful because you can really tell the associations between the collections that you own. Um, and again, you know, you can name this however you want. Maybe it's, you know, related collections. Maybe it's, um, you know, art by the same artist, whatever you want. And you can add any description below. Another carousel we can use is the timeline. So you can think of it as a roadmap to build. Again, following the similar pattern, you click the pencil and you can edit the title as well as the description. And for each item, you get to choose the media, you know, the date, this is free form. Um, so you can even say like Q1, um, whatever that makes sense for you. And essentially uh, map out the kind of story set um, and the roadmap that you have. And if you see this external link, you can actually um, see this visit link pop up and that will essentially pop you over to an, um, an external link that you provide. And then last but not least, uh, there is another kind of card component for um, you to play around with that's free form. So you'll be able to just essentially, looks pretty similar to the timeline, but without sort of the actual timeline component. You can add any media you want, um, you know, talk about kind of anything else that you want to feature or have your collectors know about. And then the last type of module we have, of course, is the frequently asked questions. This just seem similar to uh, what you might have seen for OpenSea Drops, but you can have as many questions in here. Um, you can edit as you go, and the answers will be folded by default and when you click. So um, you will see that pop up underneath. And at the end, make sure you save your changes. And you'll see a change is saved here to know that you're good to go. And then you can actually come to your collection page that's visible from the public and check out how your page looks. So um, you have the logo, the banner, the text here. And then notice that you know all of this is in this new overview tab that's right next to your items, analytics, and activity that you've already seen before in all the collections pages previous. So you can see my media and text team here, my featured items, the collections, and I didn't fill this out, but obviously you can have a much prettier roadmap and um, kind of a free form section with the FAQ.